there's a, a parent right now, number of parents in the North Penn School District right outside of Philly, who showed up to a school board meeting to report on something that if this mother had not had courage, we probably never would have heard of. This came from libs of TikTok, that a fifth grade teacher lined up students by their race, these are 10-year-olds, and made the white kids apologize to the black kids. I actually pulled my daughter out of AM Culp because of the fifth grade teacher who lined those students up from whitest to darkest, made them turn around, and the white ones needed to apologize to the black ones. Now, do not tell me that it did not happen, okay, in this district. You need to put an end to this. Kids do not see color, and you are segregating them, and you are separating them. This is not okay. Do something or get out of those damn chairs. I love it. I love her righteous anger, and I love the point that she's making. This is not okay. The teachers who do this need to be canceled. They need to be fired. They need to not work as teachers again. I love cancel culture. Cancel culture is awesome when it's for the right reasons. All cultures cancel. Every single person supports cancel culture. Plenty of people who pretend to hate cancel culture right now are calling to, they're calling to cancel Whoopi Goldberg. Maybe they have good reason to. I think there are plenty of good reasons to ostracize people. There are standards. There are taboos. There are consequences for what people say. Of course, certainly that should be enforced against this teacher without question. Now, it actually ties in with the Whoopi point a little bit too, because let's take away all of Whoopi's stupid historical commentary on the Holocaust. And let's just get to the ostensibly deeper philosophical point she's trying to make, which is that evil doesn't just boil down to race. It boils down to man's inhumanity toward man. It really boils down to the perversion and fallenness of of man's heart. If it is the case that it's really all about race. All evil in the world is about race and white supremacy. Then the exercise that this teacher is doing in her classroom is totally justified. If it's really, if the, all the problems of the world stem from white supremacy, then yeah, the white kids probably should apologize to the black kids. Shouldn't they? And they should be taught that whiteness is bad and blackness is good. And white people should always feel ashamed of their skin color. And you've got to root out, out damn spot, out damn whiteness, right? If, if, the racial ideology of the left is true. If it's not, if racism is merely a symptom of a deeper fallenness of the world that is not merely about one group or some other group, but is actually about the man in the mirror and our own cracked, broken hearts that are corrupt from the beginning, well, then this exercise doesn't make any sense at all. And the answer to this, by the way, is not What the libs are doing right now is they're saying one group good, the other group evil. What a lot of people want all the kids to be told is you're all good. You're all good people deep down. What the kids should really be taught is no, you're all fallen. You're not totally evil. You're not 100% irredeemable, but you're not good either. You're fallen and you need humility and you are a sinner. That's the nature of this world. And we need to practice virtue and we need to be on guard against sin and we need a redeemer. That is what, I I know that sounds so radical now to say that. That's what education was until like five minutes ago, by which I mean 60, 70 years ago when the secularists really took over the educational institution. And what happened? Since that time, our education has crumbled and little 10-year-olds are being told to feel ashamed of themselves for the color of their skin. This is a lot deeper than just some stupid racial theory. This this requires an entire overhaul (laughs) of how we see ourselves and our country. With the historic inflation that we're all dealing with today, it's more important than ever to save some money. You ever wonder how to strike the best deals and save up to, I don't know, 90%, 9-0 on brand new items without even needing to leave your home? Look no further than Deal Dash, one of the leading auction sites in the United States with over a decade in business. Whether you are in the market for a basic kitchen appliance or a luxury upgrade to your old TV, Deal Dash will allow you to get the best deals on whatever you're looking for. They've got hundreds of auctions daily on brand new items from TVs and laptops to tools and kitchenware, even cars, with guaranteed free shipping. iPads have sold for $33.60. Brand new cars have sold for less than $1,000. All auctions start at $0. You have a 90-day money-back guarantee on your first bid pack purchase. You can use Deal Dash both online at dealdash.com as well as through iOS and Android apps. The game mechanics are simple. All auctions start at zero bucks. 
Each bid raises the final auction price by one cent and resets the clock to 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds run out, the final bidder wins and can claim the auction win by paying the final price. Don't be made victim to today's inflation. Get all the new products that you desire without price hikes at Deal Dash today. Use promo code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, for an additional 100 free bids when making your first bid pack purchase and start bidding. Heyo, thanks for checking out that clip. That's cool, man. Nice to be with you. If you want more clips, ring the bell, subscribe, leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Get it here at YouTube. Get it at The Daily Wire. Get it on your audio podcast app. Get it anywhere you can to stave off the censors. We'll see you next time.